In this video, I demonstrate how to connect devices to Microsoft Azure. Three things must be done before. Number one, download and install Microsoft Azure command line tool. In your terminal, type AZ and press enter, and you should see the output. Number two, download and install Mongoose OS command line utility from Mongoose OS website. Go to downloads and pick the version for your platform. In your terminal, type MOS minus minus help and press enter, and you should see the output. And number three, get any microcontroller board supported by Mongoose OS and connect it to your computer. Here I have M5 stack device, which is based on ESP32 microcontroller. Go to portal.azure.com and create an IoT hub. Click on create IoT hub. I choose free tier and create a resource group and click create. Now wait for some time until it's created. Now I have a new IoT hub called M5 stack. Switch to terminal and type MOS and press enter. This starts a UI where we select a serial port for the device choose ESP32 and example M5 stack JS application and click flash. Now an example M5 stack firmware is being flashed on M5 stack device and that's done. Let me zoom the camera a little bit. So what we see that the firmware is now flashed and what it shows that the Wi-Fi is not configured and cloud is not configured and time is not set. Configure Wi-Fi. So this is the last step. Now Wi-Fi is connected. I click done here and quit MOS tool. Now I type MOS Azure IoT setup and press enter. This single command provisions a device to the Microsoft IoT Hub. So it generates certificate, uploads that to the device. We see the message that the cloud is Azure and it's connected. So let's switch to the Azure console, click on M5 stack and on IoT devices. Here we have M5 stack for F9C58. This is our new device, click on it. And this is our device. So a number of things are available here. First is the device twin. This is a device meta information stored on the cloud. Second thing is message to device. The next one is direct method. So click on message to device and type in hello from Azure and click send message. And we see that message appears on the display. Next thing I want to show is the direct method. Direct method functionality of Azure is mapped to the RPC functionality of Mongoose OS. The method name should be an RPC name. For example, type rpc.list and click on invoke method. And you'll see in the result, the result of the invocation of rpc.list. So you can call any of these functions straight away, or you can create your own using C or JavaScript. Now I click on device twin. What I see here is a device twin object, which is JSON object similar to Amazon IoT device shadow. When I click on the buttons, counters increase, and on each button press, we update device twin. It has several keys like button one, button two, and button three. Let me click on the button to increase the counter and refresh the device twin. And we see that the counter here increased as well. To summarize, in this video, I demonstrated how to connect IoT devices to Microsoft Azure in a few minutes. Thanks for watching.